Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sani of LS Web Apps and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at 5 tips how to be an awesome PHP programmer. So in previous videos we did 7 tips how to be an awesome programmer in general but this time we'll narrow down a bit more and concentrate on the PHP language. Okay, so tip number 1. Very often when people start doing PHP programming, they um, start by learning procedural code. And by procedural code, I mean code that goes from one line to the other without much organization in terms of like um, structuring your code. Okay? There's nothing wrong with procedural code, coding, but as you will find out with time that as your application grows, you will find better ways of organizing your code and um, having meanings in the different sections of your code or application. Okay, so to help you with that, you should start by learning what object-oriented programming is. Okay, so secondly, try to write self-documenting code. And by that, I mean when you're naming your variables, let's say you have opened a PHP tag and you have some variable called A. This is not very uh, descriptive. Let's say, for example, in A, you want to store the first name of someone. So you say A equals the first name. So if I'm coming here and looking at this variable, I wouldn't know what it means. So you can very much easily just name it. Instead of A, you could go and say first name. So now just by looking at this variable name, I can know instantly that whatever is going to be stored in this variable has this meaning that it's the first name of someone or some object somewhere. Okay. So this also goes for naming your functions. Let's say you have some function and it's called... Um, B. So, likewise, just like this was named A and had no meaning just by looking at the variable A, B also is not very descriptive. So, let's say that this variable here um, concatenates the first name and the last name of someone and returns it to you. So, it, it accepts some arguments here. So, let's say first name, last name. Okay. So, instead of naming it B, you might name it something like uh, combine first and last name and guys just one thing as well that I would want to bring to your attention is it doesn't okay, let me just correct this mistake here combine first and last name what I want to bring to your attention is that it doesn't matter how long your function names are or your variable names as long as they make meaning they have some meaning for example in here I am naming this combine first and last name it's quite a long function name but it makes sense and actually will help someone who's reading your code to understand what this function is doing than something like B. Okay, so in here you might have some implementation details that probably will do something like this return first name and have a space here and last name. Okay, All right, so this is just an example. So this also goes for your class names as well. So I wouldn't go into detail into that, but just name your variables or name anything with meaning. So thirdly, learn to use a PHP framework. So there's lots of PHP frameworks around. And right now, the most noticeable or the most popular I've seen is Laravel. It doesn't really matter which one you learn, as long as you try to learn one and see what the benefits are. Um, because there's lots of benefits to using a PHP framework. I'm not saying don't learn the PHP language as a whole or in general, but after you've learned PHP, obviously, if, if you're watching this video, you're interested in learning PHP, but to further your understanding of PHP, it will help to learn a, another framework. So there's Laravel, there's Symfony, there's Fuel PHP, and obviously, um, well, not obviously, but my favorite is Laravel Framework, and I've been using that on some projects. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff, so just go to Google and type um, PHP Frameworks. And this helps you in the sense that um, some patterns and design patterns that you may not have been aware of on your own, you will be exposed to these through the use of this framework. For example, the MVC pattern, which is the pattern that most of these frameworks adhere to. Okay, so fourth on the list is um, Try to build your own PHP framework, even if it's for fun. After you've learned how to use a framework, try to build your own framework. Look at how these frameworks have been built and how they work, and try to mimic one or other or combine the different patterns in each of them. And even if you're not going to use this in production, which I will say if it's your first time building a framework, do not use it in production, because most likely it's going to be having security faults. Okay? 
So fifth in the list is get in the habit of reading other people's code. So it's nice to write your own code, but you're not going to get any better if you do not get in the habit of reading other people's code. And by other people, I might mean your friend or actually this Laravel uh, framework or Symfony. Go in the source code and start reading. If you don't understand um, how a certain method works, or even if you do understand how it works, just go in the source code and see the implementation. You might be surprised how much you learn from doing that. Okay, so there you have it guys. These are my five tips how to be an awesome PHP programmer. And in the comments below, if I have missed something or you have some comments about one of these points I made, please do leave them in the comments below. And until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.